Hi. I would like to share with you the scriptures from the book of Galatians, um, chapter 2. I'm going to read the entire chapter. Then 14 years after I, Paul, the apostle, went up again to Jerusalem with Barnabas and took Titus with me also. And I went up by revelation and communicated unto them that gospel which I preach among the Gentiles, but privately to them which were of reputation, lest by any means I should run or had run in vain. But neither Titus, who was with me, being Greek, was compelled to be circumcised, and that because of false brethren unawares brought in, who came in privily to spy out our liberty, which we have in Christ Jesus, that it might bring us into bondage, to whom we gave place by subjection, no, not for an hour, that the truth of the gospel might continue with you. But those who can but those who seem to be somewhat, whatsoever they were, it makes no matter to me. God accepts no man person. For they who seem to be somewhat in conference added nothing to me. But contrariwise, when he saw that the gospel of the uncircumcision was committed unto me, as the gospel of the circumcision was unto Peter, for he that wrought effectually in Peter to the apostleship of the circumcision, the same was mighty in me toward the Gentiles. And when James Cephason John, who seemed to be pillars, perceived the grace that was given unto me. They gave to me and Barnabas um, the right hands of fellowship, that we should go unto the heathen, and they unto the circumcision. <coughs> Only they th would that we should remember the poor, same which I also was afforded to do. But when Peter was come to Antioch, I withstood him to the face, because he was to be lame. For before that certain came from James, he did eat with the Gentiles, but when they were come, he withdrew and separated himself, fearing them which were of the circumcision. And the other Jews assembled likewise with him, insomuch that Barnabas also was carried away with their dissimulation. Well, when I saw that they walked not uprightly according to the to the truth of the gospel, I said unto Peter before them all, If you, being a Jew, live after the manner of Gentiles, and not as to the Jews, why do you compel the Gentiles to live as to the Jews? We who are Jews by nature, not sinners and Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, and we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law, for by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. But if, while we seek to be justified by Christ, we ourselves are also are found to be sinners, is therefore um, Christ the minister of sin? God forbid. For if I build again the things which I destroyed, I make myself a transgressor. For I, through the law, am dead to the law, that I might live unto God. I am crucified with Christ, nevertheless I live, yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. I do not frustrate the gospel I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if the for if righteousness come by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Now um thing I want to bring 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 to mind in the um from the scriptures I read is um where um the incident in Antioch where um where where Peter um, what was um, was first eaten with the um, the Gentile believers because um, I mean, um, well if you if you've read from the book of Acts um, P Peter was um, for was was sent to the um, sent to the Gentiles by by, by uh, um, vi vision you receive, received of God and um, and um, the and um, he came to Cornelius's house, and he preached the gospel to them. And when he did, the Holy Ghost fell upon them, and um, they prophesied. They prophesied and spoke in tongues, and um, he b then baptized baptized them into the faith. And he came, came reported to the um, his fellow apostles, and they, they took issue with him um, eating with eating with Gentiles, and and he. He told told him that the spirit led led him to pr preach unto the Gentiles, and and then they um, came to the conclusion that um, God God has granted the Gentiles um, repentance unto life. And they are now included in the um, in in so the mission of salvation. I mean, Jesus did say, um, "Go into the world and make disciples of all nations." Pre 
baptizing them in the name of the Lord, name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. However, um, there were certain men that came from James that um, that that, that um, made Peter want to like um, like distance himself from the gen Gentile believers and um, they were just like um, and he there were there were um, also certain Jews that 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 came to the faith of Jesus Christ who. Uh, also, were like distancing themselves from the Gentile leaders, and even even Barnabas was car carried away by their hypocrisy, and and that's when Paul had had to um, he he was before that he was given the right hands of fellowship by by um, by John Peter and the Lord's brother James, and um, because they rec they recognized um, Paul as the um, as the true apostle of the Lord, uh, the gospel ha has been given on, unto him to preach unto the Gentiles, while, while they were preaching unto the um, the Jews, and um, P and um, Paul saw that we're not they're not living accor according to the truth of the gospel, and he and he basically rebuked P Peter in front of them all, say, say, saying that. Um, if you, being a Jew, live after men of the Gentiles and not as do the Jews, why do you compel the Gentiles to live as do the Jews? I mean, I mean, in the um, conference in Antioch, um, in Acts chapter 15, um, there there were certain there were certain men who were of the um, Pharisees who were saying that the Gentiles must be circumcised and. Uh, Live, live after the um, as do the Jews, and that's when when the apostles decide that they should that the Gentiles don't have to live as do the Jews. They just they just have to keep themselves from um, from fornication, from blood, from from um, things strangled, and also from idol from idolatry and just. Uh, and that that's what that's what um Paul, Paul um what that what that's what they're commanded to do. That's what Paul Paul was adhering to that um that Gentiles don't don't have to live a, as men or um, the Jews. I mean, because um I mean, because God God's grace um. I mean, is it is accessible to all, both Jews and the Gentiles, through faith in Jesus Christ, and we're only saved by um, faith in Jesus Christ, not by not by the works of law, because Paul says, by the works of law, no flesh shall be shall be justified, and 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 th that really um, that really. F Paul, Paul's rebu public rebuke of um, Peter really affected really affected P Peter, and to the point where um, he he eventually to the, to the to the point where he actually defended Paul Paul when he in his um, second last letter to the to, that he that he wrote um, before before his um, death that. I'm going. I'm going to go go to what it says in um, Second Peter chapter three. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for these things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace, without spot and blameless, and account of the long suffering of our Lord's salvation, even as our beloved brother Paul, also according to the wisdom given unto him, is written unto you. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of the of these things, of which are some things that are hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Paul, I mean, Peter was defending um, Paul's writings, say, saying that those who um, twist Paul tw Paul's words in his letters 
are like those who twi twist the words of scripture that they, that they do so unto their own destruction. Anyway, that's pretty much all I have to share with you in this video. So, have a good day and may God bless you.